Hello. So I actually chose a water marble is what I pointed to on my paper. Um, so I'm going to, this is only going to be the second time I have ever water marbled. So bear with me. Um, I did Google like St. Patrick's Day water marbles just to see like what the general colors of water marbling would be and mostly everybody did green and white um, so I got a green and I got a white now these are both like this is like a pearl kind of finish some kind of shimmer and this one is a shimmer as well so they might not work properly so I'm just gonna have to test them as I go um, but to help make them pop especially since we're going to do a white um, I am going to be painting just a white base coat to give it something to attach to and something to help make it pop so um, and I am going to be doing my peel off so let's just get started you will need some kind of cup this is just a Halloween cup it has some kind of stain in the bottom, so it's what I'm going to use. And a room temperature purified water, bottled water. So here we go, let's get started. All right, while that's drying, I'm going to let you know about the polishes I'm going to be using or attempting to use. So this one I'm for sure going to put on as a base coat, like I said, just because um, you want to make sure it pops on the first try. This is not a, oh, that one's too light, I better do another one. Um, there's no way you would be able to line them up to do like a second layer. So this is a one shot or not type of deal. So putting on, you know, a light base coat to give it that extra pop is really crucial. So I'm just going to use the white that I got. This was just the next white in line. Um, I don't have any new white, so this is actually an older one. This is Mademoiselle, and it came in a pack of three with some caviar beads. And like I said, it's kind of like pearl. It's got like a shimmer to it. It just looks to me like a pearl. You know how they glow. They're like opal. But this one doesn't have like multidimensional. It's just white. But it's got some kind of shimmer in it. And so I'm hoping it's going to spread in the water. If it doesn't, then I'll just have this as my base coat and move on. And then the green that was next in line is Julep. It does again have shimmer in it but I have seen water marbles that have shimmer so I don't think that's a necessarily no-go so I'm just going to have to try it this one is Leah which is defined as vivid refreshing grass green with a hint of shimmer so yeah I would call that you know grass green and that's perfect because clovers grow in the grass. Did you know that? Did you know that clovers grow in grass? So a grass color is actually perfect. Anyways, enough of being weird. Let's get started with the base color. Like I said, I'm just going to paint them all white. Um, I don't know how many coats it'll need. We want to do as little as possible, really. So hopefully I can get it covered in one coat. If not, then I guess we'll do more. I don't know. We'll see. So I would not call it a perfect one coat or white at all. But it is a good starting point and base coat for this whole water marble thing. And if everything goes well, you won't see the base coat because it will be 
a water marble design on top and it will just darken the white and make the green pop so hopefully it will work correctly so um, to get started again you need a, a some kind of cup this one is probably actually too big for the job I'm going to waste a lot of water but I can't think of another one unless I just go get a Dixie cup you know, I think I'm going to just go get a Dixie cup holder. I'll be back. Alright, in anticipation of it also being messy, I also got a paper towel. And then I got a toothpick as well. Um, I had just a cuticle stick, but it might be too big. So we will just wing it. Like I said, this is literally my second water marble I've ever done. So this is just a bathroom Dixie cup. Dixie cup. So I have this one, which this is Nestle Pure Life. It is already used from the first water marble, and I just keep this bottle in my nail art box. That's why it's always room temperature. Just want to pour it in your cup. There we go. Now I don't know if under the lights it's gonna start like getting hot, the water. I don't know. We will see. Okay, um, before I really start like dipping my fingers, I just want to make sure that these two are going to spread. Um, I did try a, when I was testing my previous water marble, which is actually on this page. Um, it is on my YouTube channel. One of the very first nail arts I done. So you can go and look it up if you're interested but I just want to make sure that they are going to spread because I have had one sink before so you just want to put a drop in I don't like wasting nail polish okay drop yay that one spreads so that is good now let's check the white Make sure it's going to spread. Oh, seriously. How do I not know how to drop a bottle? Drop a drip. Drip a drop. And that one is spreading as well. So it looks like I did pick some good ones. So let's just use the toothpick. Get that all out of there. And I just wiped it on the paper towel. We'll see how that goes. All right. So I am opposed to wasting the nail polish. So every time I see a water marble, they drip like 20 drops in. They do their little design and they put one finger in. And I'm like, oh my gosh, look how much polish you just wasted. It really gets to my soul. So, I don't think I can dip all four nails. So, I am going to do maybe two at a time. Because, I mean, the whole point of water marble, yes, I guess you can, real, if you're really good at it, you can get the design and you can do it really good. But, I ain't good. So, I'm just going to go in with my Simply Peel to prevent cleanup. I'm going to apply my Simply Peel to two nails to start out. We'll start out with these two, see how it goes. So it is going to be messy, so you want to go big, or you'll still have to clean it up. That was a mistake, but it's okay. Eh. Don't do that, don't get it on the polish. It defeats the purpose. Watch what you're doing. Ah, I did it again. Jeez. I didn't know you had to be so skilled at painting your fingers. You know, it normally happens by accident. This is not working very well. 
Sorry if I'm not in camera. This is very hard and I don't want to spill my water. I'm not coordinated enough for this type of stuff. Okay, we'll see if that makes a mess or not. Alright, so while that's drying, let's get the drops dropping. I think my water is too dirty. I didn't clean it very well. But it's just two little nails. I'm going to make it work. Okay, again, I just don't like wasting polish. So you want to drag it. Okay, you have to make sure you wipe off your little tool or it's not going to work. So it seems like I only, oh, I don't have tweezers. It seems like I only got one design good, so I'm going to try this. Okay, here we go. And... Well, you're not supposed to pull it out, but it came out anyways. So I don't think it's that bad. So you also need tweezers for the Simply Peel. So let's peel this off and see the damage I did. I don't think it's that bad. Seriously, I'm making a mess over here. I think it's still cute. So I did waste some. So now let's clean all this up. Make sure we get it cleaned good. Clean off the Q-tip. Now I personally want to have at least two ready to dip in. So I'm going to go ahead and paint my next finger. This is going to be time consuming guys. I'm sorry. But I'm sure real water marble is, so if you're preparing to do water marble, you should be preparing to do for a while. Alright, now I have two fingers ready to dip when possible. Alright, here we go again. Let's see if I can get this to work better this time. See what we can do. So let's go out. That did not work. What did I do wrong? Oh, you're not supposed to pull from the whole... Ah! Trial and error, people. Trial and error. Okay. I'm just going to dip them in. So, there's still a swirly design, so I'm going to do them. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to watch me do it, but... So, I'm going to do like this and then you're supposed to clean it clean it up before you take them out but it didn't work whatever oh, I think I made a mess so for those two it does not appear as though I got all of the <laughs> skin covered you know Whatever. <laughs> so, oh well, it will come off eventually. <laughs> All right, so go back in and clean this up. I will get good by the next hand, I promise. All right, gonna paint my simply peel again. Maybe more of the finger this time. And I'm going to go ahead and get the thumb too. I got my two fingers ready to go. So just to, you know, be clear. The process is working correctly. This is what it's supposed to do. It's expanding. The part where I'm falling short is my own drawing techniques that is the only part that is 
not going according to plan. But I am getting a bullseye and everything else is working properly. Okay. Now let's see what kind of damage I can do. So first off, you want to anchor the sides. That's not what I wanted to happen. Make sure your tool's clean. Okay, then you want to pull out, pull out, pull out. There, that's better. Then we're gonna go in. Make sure you clean your tool. Go in. I think that's cool. So this is really just going to be random. I might try on the other hand somehow to get like a clover. But I'm ready to stick these two fingers in. So we're just going to dip. And then clean. Those turned out great. Look at those. Those are good. For once. Alright, then we're going to take the tweezers and get the Simply Peel off. So, I did see people make clovers when I googled, you know, water marbling designs, but I'm just happy I got a water marble design, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I'm pretty stoked that I'm actually accomplishing something and not doing nothing. No, it might not be, you know, the clover design that other people did. I don't know how they do that. I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I need to push in, not pull out. I don't know. Like I said, this is a learning process. But I do think they got better as we went along. So there's the first four. And here's the thumb. I still think they're all looking pretty cool. So we're going to get started on the next hand, get the Simply Peel on. I'm actually, I think I'm going to do all five fingers because this is my bad hand. I can get everything accomplished with my good hand. Alright, as long as I don't touch them together, I'm good. <laughs> Which is not a guarantee. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. Anchor. Anchor. So let's go in. And in. And in. And in. That is not what I wanted to do. How do people make clovers? That's not a clover. Maybe I need more rings. I don't know. So I'm going to do these two. And get them. And these. Okay. Clean up the excess. They're still pretty cool. I'm sorry guys, I'm not focused. The camera is not focused. All right. Pull off the Simply Peel. I'm getting something accomplished. Again, I'm sorry that it's not very focused. I'm just lucky that I'm getting something done. So let's try again for a clover. Not quite sure what I'm doing wrong. But at least it's marbling the green and the white. That's not a complete fail. Let's see if I can do this. 
It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, I think I'm gonna get it. Close, close. Now I've seen people go like this in the middle. Well, that just took all the white out. But look at this, it's a clover. I did it. I am amazed. Now, let's see if I can, oh no. Look what I done, I got all stuck together. <laughs> well, let me see if I can just do this. Well, that was a fail. Look what happened. <laughs> this is why I can't simply peel all of my nails together. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. I just can't do it. I just, I can't. I'm not coordinated at all. Zero percent. Seriously, I'm making a mess. And this finger did not get like anything on it. That did not work. The clover did not show up. I'm going to redo this thumb because it literally got a fourth of the nail covered in art. So I need to re simply peel it. Reapply simply peel and see if we can do it over top of it. <laughs> Probably not gonna work, but you know, like I said, you can't double dip. I don't think. Okay, last one. Just get it done. And again, that was one million percent human error with simply peel. I mean, that was not the water marble fault. That was completely my fault. Ooh, that's the biggest one I've had yet. Alright, since this is the last nail, last design, let's see if I can get something that all the other water marble people do. So far, none of my nails look like all the other people's. So, let's see. Do they all use a different toothpick every time or something? I don't know. That was a big fail. All together. Complete fail. Here we go again. The water's getting dirty. I don't think it will last much longer, but it just needs to last for one more. Just one that will work correctly. Okay, we can do another green. Here we go. Maybe I'll use the flip side. It's just clean now. This is just looking messy. Okay, at this point, I'm just gonna stick, stick my thumb in and just get it done somewhere. All right, let me clean up my workspace a little bit and then we will go in with a top coat. And I will show you closer the design, get it to focus on my nails. I cleaned up. Um, I had to clean up the brush on my Simply Peel. I don't know if it's the hot lights or what, but it does get, um, especially when I'm filming, it gets really um, dried out on the brush. So those are my eight nails, and these are my two thumbs. Um, overall, I never did accomplish the clover, <laughs> uh, but still, it's green and white, um, it's close to St. Patrick's Day, you know, it's not like it's something completely random, nobody's gonna know what it's about. Um, I did have one major mistake, but I don't have really much of a problem with, um, nail polish sticking to my skin. I mean, after I wash my hands once, this is probably going to come right off. Um, and there's just a few little things on the fronts of my nails, but for the most part, I mean, you can't tell that I made a big mistake. <laughs> so I'm just going to go over it with my top coat. This is just my OPI plain top coat and seal in the design. So here we go. 
So overall, I would say that everything turned out pretty decently. Make sure to look at the bottom of the screen to see how long it took me. Um, the only one that really, really messed up is this thumb. Um, if you remember, it had a little bit of the um, water marble on it, but it was just like this corner down here. So I did do it again, and it's just lumpy. You can see, like right there, you can see the line where it had, you know, the second thing of nail polish. So it's just a little lumpy and bumpy, but all together, I'm pretty satisfied with my second time water marbling that it actually marbled. You can see, you know, it's not a specific design, like more professional or more um, perfected mar water marbles marblers can do. But it's still technically a water marble design. So, I mean, I really think it's cute. It's cool. I would totally do it again eventually. It's on my paper. I'll do it whenever I point to it. Or if you guys want to see something specific, I mean, the more I try, the better I will get. So anyways, that's it, guys. It's pretty simple. It doesn't scream. St. Patrick's Day because I did not get any real clover design or anything but it's still St. Patrick's Day colors green and white and they are shimmery both colors are shimmery so thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe and I will see you next time bye